Alright, now for my top 5 DVD, or top 5 PS2 games. Uh, here are with Mega Man um, Anniversary Collection. As people know, this has a ton of good old and slightly recent Mega Man games on it. Um, I chose this game because it's a whole lot. That's a lot of fun. It's a it's a good challenge to play these games. Yes, they're kind of frustrating at times. You make might make you want to throw your controller, but it's a lot of fun. And Midway Arcade Treasures 2 is simply one of my favorites because it has a lot of good games on it. Primal Rage, Rampage, Total Carnage, Narc, Pit Fighter, Mortal Kombat 2, 3, Gauntlet, um, Spy Hunter 2, which is an okay game, Timber, which is um, kind of like uh, Beer Tapper, but it, well, it's made by the same people and has the same... Um, character in it. Um, what else do we have? Rampage, we'll no, I'll mention that. Championship Sprint, that's okay. Wacko and Hard Driving. Lots of great arcade uh, classics on here to play. Um, the one thing I will say is I noticed that you can still find this on Amazon, but it's not, they don't sell it, it's not sold through Amazon. You gotta buy it from a third party, which is a st another store or online store. And this collection and the first collection goes for fifty dollars a piece, so that's a major ripoff. I'd recommend buying them at a Best Buy, Target, or uh, Walmart, or if you can find them used, get them that way. But do not pay fifty dollars for this. This is not. This is that's just outrageous. Unless you have no other way of getting it, then do that. But I paid only. I think I got this for Christmas uh, a few years ago. It was only like twenty bucks. The next is Metal Gear Solid. Two subsistence, uh, great solid gameplay, and that's why I like it. Uh, great story, um, and the fact that I like to sneak around in this game—that's that, that's a lot of fun. And you kind of have to in this game. You can't really reveal yourself, as most people know. Uh, Mega Select, uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Lots of great uh, Sonic games to play on this one. As everybody knows, that is a fan of the Sonic series. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, nice challenge with these games. That's what I like about them. Another thing. Um, but I do tend to get stuck in this. I played this on an emulator and I got stuck in it. So I don't know if I'll get any further. And one of them, I think, it was Sonic Three. Um, but uh. Thing, one thing I like to mention in this to people that want to get this is the in this uh, emulated version of these games the graphics are slightly pixelated. It's not a perfect emulation as some would think. The sound is a tiny bit muffled too. It's not quite as clear as the original cartridges are. But uh, that's that's just a minor gripe there. And that game is rated E. If anyone wants to know. Um. Here is the Resident Evil 4, the current PS or current Resident Evil out for now. Till I think it was what, uh, March 13th is when Resident Evil is coming out on the PS3, I believe, or something like that. Sometime in March, maybe. Um, that's the expected date. Um, man, this game was a lot of fun right here. And there's, I think it's lo a long game, so that's what I like about it. You don't beat it within a few hours of gameplay, or, you know, an ex I'm the type of person that likes to take my time in these games, so it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, awesome graphics here. For a PS2 game, you can also play this in 1080i. Um, you do not have to have, as I mentioned in my other review, or the actual review of this game, you actually have to have um, the different cables and a Japanese PS3 to do this. You do not have to have that at all. You just gotta have a widescreen TV. That's it. And if anyone has any questions or comments, feel free to uh, post them. And that's all for this uh, video. Thanks for watching.